here's an update of what's going on. I got all the floor ripped out except the frame. The frame looks to be okay, so I'm not going going to replace it. If I did have a shop where I can could park this in, I would take this off this metal and just redo the frame. But I'm doing this on my driveway in the subdivision, so I don't want to take it apart. The frame is good. It's sturdy. It's not in dark. Well. Some places are a little bit dark, but it's sturdy. It's not wrong, so it should be fine. That board right there, that one is good too. It did get a little bit dark, but it's still strong. So I primed it with a uh, mold primer, and I'm actually going to prime everything with mold primer. And even like the new pieces of wood that I put on, the new plywood, I'm going to prime everything with the mold primer. Just so there is extra protection if moisture does happen to get in later on. The two coats are primer yesterday, so it's dry now. So what I'm going to do is cut out another piece like this one and screw it next to it just to give it extra support. And after that, I remove this piece right here. I'll make a little bit bigger piece than this right here, also, so it'll be a little bit stronger. And after that, I'm going to move on and change that piece because I'm trying to get the floor done first so I can walk normally because now you can you can stand on this and if you stand this bends too so I'm like walking on boards and then I can start working on the walls the floor you also have to do in pieces you can cut everything out because then everything will cave in when you walk on it it's like a rainy day today so I want to get my chop stuff out in case it starts raining Prime it with the mold primer too. If it does get a little bit more sure or water, it will keep it stronger. So I got a lot of these measured and pre-cut, these new boards. A lot of them are going, some are going to go here, some will go on the front and some will go on this side. I'm just doing two coats on all of them. I'm using this mold tilling primer. I'll prime everything here in this new wood just to give it protection if some water or moisture does get in. So I bought this long metal strip. I'll use a grinder to cut them in little pieces. And these are gonna be metal brackets that I tied the wood together, screwed together in the camper. It's more expensive to buy just the small ones already. It's cheaper to buy this big one. This big one's like $2.80 and the small ones are like 60 cents each already. I bought a few corner ones that are bent. I think the breaking apart is the hardest part of this whole thing. Everything on this is put together from the outside. So the correct way to fix things is to take off the aluminum siding from the outside and fix it that way. But you can't do that unless you have like a big shop or garage. So what I'm doing is trying to remove this board that ran like this. And look at all these staples. 
it's all stapled in from the outside and screwed from the outside so i'm just cutting away and chipping away at it trying to break it out that has been the hardest part of this whole rebuild so far is taking out the old and the newer stuff is way easier to put in all the white wood over there that's all new and i already put some reflectix before i put the new wood in and the whole floor is going to have reflux fixed on it and then styrofoam just using these metal brackets screwing those in and putting a lot of glue on and same here i screwed it in and glued everything together so should be good after i get that out, new piece is going to go in there next and then i'm going to take apart this side and do this and then i'll get the put the floor in probably i have these boards and uh, screw it in first i tried just laying them down but when you walk on it the floor still bends because this frame is actually really weak the only way it's strong is if you have plywood screw it in holding it all together in place so what i end up doing is actually screwing in into every piece all this wood is all screwed in and now it became all even and it's not like bent anymore and it got kind of stable enough to work on it's really hot in here i have that window open but those ones are all tarped up it's leaking i can't still con it because it rains so there's like no airflow going on here <laughs> so it's extremely hot but i'm just happy that i actually got this part done it's so nice to actually do something instead of just like ripping stuff out you feel like you actually got something accomplished yeah switch this board out i used these metal brackets I screwed it together and I put a bunch of glue on it and it dried for a whole day and it's really nice and stable now because before this was like falling apart <laughs> and then I screwed in the metal aluminum siding from the bottom I'm going to remove that piece right there this piece is still good it's dark but it's not rotted so what I'm gonna do is prime it I'll reinforce this piece and put a whole new piece right here like I did on this side this is a reinforcement piece this is the old piece and then this is a new piece I put in so I'll do that on the other side too every side of the floor that you work on you have to reinforce the floor so it doesn't cave in you need to get a multi-tool you won't be able to get anything done without it you can get a really cheap one or a really expensive one it doesn't really matter you get from the table to the job to this corner this is all raw too so i'm gonna cut out right here and replace all this stuff here that's all down the other side too i'll cut all of that out we'll place that and all of those and i drew in with the permanent marker so we see where everything goes so i think i'm gonna knock those out too they're just small pieces not hard to replace them they're still not bad i was just good more support of their new pieces i'll probably leave those because those run up and down but these ones i think will knock them out So I got everything cleared out, got the board cleaned up, everything vacuumed. Now I'll put your closer primer on it and continue from there. So I taped up the seam there in the aluminum 
And yeah, I'm putting the roof up fix because I want it to be underneath all the new boards I put in. Like that, it's underneath that board and it's underneath these new boards I put in. So I'm gonna put the flag fix in and then put the new boards in. using Gorilla Tape. So everything's ready. That board's primed. Reflect this in. Time to put in the new boards. Take it back out. Put some bunch of glue on it. I got glue all over it. And some over there. Some over there. Time to set it in there. It's in place. I'm just screwed it in. Now we'll use some of these brackets that I cut. And attach it to that. Perfect. Then you just smear the glue all around. I'll drill more holes and put more screws in later. Then I'll do that over there. You can have that one to that one like that too. I'm all done. I put the metal brackets right there. Put some screws and glue to attach to that. Put brackets right there. So yeah, the battery is coming along. All that's new. All that's new. And all that's new. And these middle ones are still good. I'll just prime them and yeah, I might put some little reinforcements still on some corners. Yeah, it's coming along. <laughs>